In part one, we will take a few moments to explore the K2 reporting smart objects. The data in K2 standard reports is exposed as workflow reporting smart objects that are installed by default in K2 Black Pearl installations. Because the data comes from smart objects, it can be used in multiple places, not only in standard reports, but also custom reports. The same permissions required for standard reporting is also required for custom reporting. At a minimum, users require start and view rights for processes they wish to report on, and users with K2 server admin rights will have full control over the reporting tools. There is really only one step here in part one. In this step, we will open up and view a couple of the workflow reporting smart objects in the K2 environment using the smart object tester utility. We'll begin this step by launching the Smart Object Tester tool. In previous tutorials, you may have added a shortcut to your Start menu or Windows taskbar for this tool. I added one to my taskbar down here at the bottom of the window, so I'll open it up from here. If you didn't do that, you can get to it by opening up Windows File Explorer if you search for it in the Start menu search box. Then drill down to the following directory on your C drive. Select Program Files x86, K2 Black Pearl, open up the bin directory, and then inside here, open up the Smart Object Service Tester Executable. You can double click on it. Once you get the utility open, the reporting based smart objects we want to look at can be found by expanding the Smart Object Explorer group, then go down to Workflow Reports, open up Workflow General, and we'll start with the Process Overview Smart Object. Make a note about this smart object here. The Process Overview Smart Object is the basis for the Process Overview Report that we worked with in the Standard Reports tutorial. When you open up the Properties group, notice many of the Smart Object properties are the report columns shown in that report in K2 Workspace. Let's open up the group called Associations under this Smart Object. Notice the smart object actually has an association called Process Instance Overview. If we look at the association properties by double clicking on it to open it up, we see that the reference smart object here is Process Instance, with the comma key property being Process Set ID. This makes reporting easier by letting us drill down into data for a process in the Process Instance smart object by passing the Process Set ID value. You can click Cancel now to close this window if you're following along with me. Now let's take a look at the smart object actually retrieving report data from the K2 database. You can right click the Process Overview Smart Object and select Execute Smart Object. Click the Execute button and notice the results that are returned in the bottom of the screen. All of the deployed processes or workflows are listed here. Notice the leave request workflow process, and in particular, the process set ID of two in my system. This may be a different number in your environment. In the next step, we will execute the process instance smart object with the leave request workflow as a parameter. For now, we can exit the execute smart object screen. Right click the process instance smart object now, and then select execute smart object. On this screen, let's enter in the following parameter for the process name. I'll enter in leave request workflow, or if you don't have that, you can put any other process name that you saw in your own environment, and click execute. At the same time, in the process overview report, I'll click on the leave request workflow process to drill down into the process instances view. Notice that the results display all of the process instances for the leave request workflow process. The process set ID, which is two, is the same for each record here, and it lines up with the results in the process overview list that we executed in the previous step. The process set ID is the common factor between both sets of records, and this is how they are associated with each other. If you are familiar with SQL queries and join statements, the associated smart object concept should be relatively straightforward. If you are not familiar with that, just know that K2 reports are actually the contents of the workflow reporting smart objects that are associated with each other to create a parent-child set of records. That's all we'll need to look at in this exercise so you can close the execute smart object screen and then exit the smart object tester utility. In a quick review, 
In this step, we demonstrated how K2 reports are actually just an execution of workflow reporting smart objects. The smart object tester allows us to see the properties, methods, and associations for the smart objects. The parent-child relationships that are formed from the associations translate into the standard report drill-down functionality, and for custom reports, we will pull properties from several associated smart objects to build our report. 